skin of metal. Hello everyone, it is the Almighty Jeff and this is episode 95 of Red Dead Redemption 2. Last time we met up with Rain's Fall at the camp and rode out with him as well as Captain Monroe. And we discussed the ongoing situation with the army and after a long ride we actually recovered some stolen items from them. We then went on our third ship out with Hamish where we hunted a wolf that had been pursuing him for several days. Before we head into this episode I've collected another set of herbs, looted a newspaper scrap from Annisburg and had another encounter with poor Joe. So I'll whack in that compilation here and I'll see you when we're done. Go, I won't tell. God help! Just isn't your day, no. is it? Go on, go away! Mister? What do you want? I'm not sure. Then become a king. But I didn't know what I wanted. Then I realized I could become a king. <laughs> I've been happy ever since. His majesty is always happy. You're happy with the trees? Elated. <laughs> In a regal sort of way. <laughs> you peasants wouldn't understand. Okay, as you can see, we are back at the Wapiti Reservation. We're about to head into the next mission, which is for Captain Monroe. Obviously, this will be another optional mission uh, because we, this one actually opened up through a conversation we had with him in the last mission, Archaeology for Beginners. And um, so, obviously, if you said no, this won't be here. But of course, we said yes because for one, it's an extra mission, and two, because we're not, you know, we're not selfish. We want to help out the uh, the natives and their uh, ongoing conflict. So let's go and. With our new chum. Hello, here I am as promised. See how we can help. Captain Monroe. Of course. Chief's going out trying to find medications. It's quite a business. Yes. I thought we were through with all of this. Well, we are, mostly. Colonel Favors seems to think the natives have broken some promise they never made, and apparently he's punishing them by withholding vaccines sent down by the federal government. Really? Oh, I was supposed to oversee the administration of vaccines. Now I hear the wagon's been diverted. Why would he do such a thing? He wants to wipe him out true. so he can have the land. They say he didn't have a very good war, so maybe he's trying to start another one. Is that what you think? I'm trying to find out. He knows I'm trying to find out. 
He'd love to provoke me almost as much as he'd love to provoke these poor bastards. Meaning? Meaning that despite the fact that I think he's a horse's ass, he knows I think that. So we're just stuck here trying to make the best of things. This is the best of things. Children dying of diseases. No. This is awful. Where is this wagon? Where can we find it? I can show you. It's supposed to be heading to a pediatric coming up through Valentine, but it's been diverted south instead. Come on, Captain Monroe. M Mr. Morgan, we must act with due caution. Oh, we shall. We surely shall. Now come. Okay. Okay. I like it. I think I know a spot where we should be able to intercept it. Lead the way, Captain. All right. Gonna steal some vaccines, which I think is very applicable given the current uh, global situation. Oh, this Colonel Faith. He knows you're up here helping these people. Yes. And no. He knows I'm here to produce a report on the situation. I was sent down from the north after all the news of unrest in the region. But I think my presence might be making things worse. What do you mean? I worry he's taking some of these actions more to protect himself now. If he can incite more retaliation, maybe he can prove a stronger defense. Well, like destroying that shrine. Yes, and taking their horses. I mean... I don't know if he personally sanctioned any of this or not. This is the other problem. There's a culture now in his regiment. The rot has traveled down the trunk. Okay. Well, just show me where to find this wagon, and I'll get the medicine for you. You don't need to be involved. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. But I must ask you, please be discreet. We really cannot afford more conflict. I'm still hoping a meeting can be arranged between Rain's Fall and Colonel Favors. I understand. So I should drop the wagon back at the reservation? Oh, no. No, no, no. You only need to commandeer the back seat. Stealing those and an army wagon will only make matters much worse. Okay. You know, Favors has many flaws, but I don't believe he's callous. More an insecure man at the end of his career trying to cling on to something that's already gone. He fought for the Union in the war, and his record was considered far from illustrious. A failed man is often the most dangerous. Mm. I guess that might that could also be applied to Dutch, because obviously he's coming up with all of these plans all the time, and they're all falling apart, which makes him even more keen to get the next one right, and sort of, no matter how ridiculous it is, and that's obviously getting people killed, like uh, Jose and Lenny. And Sean, I guess, if you want to consider that. This is the spot but. I was thinking of. Let's cut up this way. Sure. It's quite early on. There's a nice vantage point up at the top here. Okie dokie. So it's a bit like the last mission, then, sort of intercepting something that the army has stolen and trying to do it without getting detected. Although there isn't any like trinkets up for this or anything, so if you do get detected, it's just. It is what it is. Okay, let's dismount here. Best leave the horses back a bit. We'll have a good view over the road from this ledge. Yeah, I'm just gonna take a weapon. Just in case, can I? No, I can't take a weapon, never mind. Alright, I'm quick. Whoa, up to it. Now the wagon should come along this way. Okay. You're a good man, Mr. Morgan, but I fear this task to be a fool's errand. Well, firstly, I'm a. Long way from a good man. Secondly, fool's errands are my favorite kind of work. Fair enough. In that case, I can see we shall be great friends. <laughs> May I ask you a question? Of course. Why don't you just tell all the folk up in Washington what kind of an idiot Colonel Favors is and save us all a lot of bother? <laughs> uh, unfortunately, the government doesn't work quite like that. If you say so. There. I think that's the wagon. All right. Get yourself out of here. Just remember to keep it clean, understand me? Don't worry, I'm as clean as they come. Now all I do is clean. <laughs> well, good luck. I'll meet you back at the reservation. Try not to get yourself killed, Mr. Morgan. No, well, now I, I can't promise. Hmm. I'm not quite sure how we're supposed to do this, I won't lie. 
Let's just like ride up behind it and then jump on. I feel like that would get us attention. But I can't do it. It won't let me jump. How the hell how is, how am I supposed to do that then? Yeah. I don't understand. It won't let me jump onto the wagon, so. Oh, there you go. Oh, for God's sake. <laughs> what happened? Arthur, get out the. Get out the you're gonna lose him! See, Louise. What the hell is that? Right, okay, so you can drop onto the wagon, it's just apparently not from the left hand side. Alright, let's try that again. Down these guys are deaf. Okay. Not too bad then. You thought at least maybe like shut the shut the lid of the uh, little crate there. So at least give it maybe a little extra time before they noticed. But I suppose it doesn't really make a difference. All the wondering, how the hell did we not hear that? <laughs> like, I don't know. Um, I'm not sure what the requirements for this mission are. I assume one of them is to do it without um, getting detected. If there's a time one, then we probably lost that. Uh, but at least now I know how to do it because I, I did spend a couple of minutes like, how, how am I supposed to do this? And I was like, aside from me trying the left side and it not working and screwing up the right side the first time. Um, yeah. But, might be more to this mission, I'm not sure yet. I expect not. But that's all well and good. I have actually done a fair bit of hunting as well between these episodes. I, d I dedicated a good few hours to Red Dead this time. And I've basically done with everything with the trap I need except for one moose pelt. Because I can't seem to find moose anymore, but I managed to find everything else. Um, and I did check with the trapper. We don't actually need that moose pelt until the epilogue because the only item that I could use to craft with also requires something that's exclusive to New Austin, I believe. So if we have enough time at the end of the episode, I might go into the trapper today and uh, clear up the rest of the purchases. Because we can get everything that we can get now. Including obviously the last of the um, challenge related like reinforced equipment. Because uh, the only ongoing challenge we're doing is Herbalist 9 and we can't finish that until the epilogue. So, But let's give this to the captain. I got the medicine. Oh, wonderful. That's great news, Mr. Morgan. Yeah, well, don't worry. It, uh, it didn't go too bad. Oh, I'll take your word for that. We could both swing for this. <coughs> yeah, well, I think I'm a little past caring about hanging, Monroe. Maybe. I just hope Colonel Favors thinks he was robbed by bandits and not... Oh, no, I'm still a bandit. There ain't no doubt about that. <laughs> Of course. Well, He's a little 10 work. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. Bandit or not, this was a good thing. Maybe it'll get us both killed, but it had to be done. I hope so. Cool. Alright. We done did it. Cool. Uh, silver. <laughs> I wish it could say gold. Uh, yeah, quick than five minutes. Wow, it's quite a tight time limit, but. Yeah, that's predicted. Don't get detected, so probably do that. I mean, I don't know how close it was to the actual camp when when the wagon went past. It could, it could be a literal thing of quickly. Yeah, might be a fairly easy objective if you know what you're doing, but obviously we're doing this blind, so. Anywho, we have plenty of time left, so let's go and see Hamish. I think his map's on the, on the map. The marker's on the map. Yes, it is. Alright, heading back to Oak Craig's. Oh, we got a bunch of Trelawney. I know, I can't see. Ah, yeah, that's the um, 
I know I said that the next one I wanted to do was the um, goodbye old friend of that I checked my mission list. It's actually this fine out of conversation what I want to get done first. So, But before we do that, this is the final stranger mission before the epilogue. So, but you know, it's with Hamish. We, we always have a good time when we're with Hamish. So, uh, let's see him over there. Here we are. Mr. Hamish. What are we doing today? Just a moment. Hamish. Arthur. Come on in. So, how you keeping out here? Ah, keeping fine, thank you. So it's all right then, is it? Living out here, away from civilization? <laughs> civilization? Yeah, I saw what civilization and industrial advancement will get you in the war. Progress, well... It ain't always progress. Besides, I ain't lonely up here. I got company. Well, I ain't company. Come look at these. Remember catching that? <laughs> I do. <laughs> I know you ain't forgot about him. Oh, I still see him in my dreams. <laughs> yeah, I got the whole of nature up here. And I'm gonna make the most of it, as long as there still is some. There? Right there by the outhouse. Look at this. Bloody hell. Boar. It's a big Holy bastard. Hell. I saw some cattle gourd the other day, but I didn't think it was possible. Let's go take care of it. Okay. Oh, it's the trophy. Yeah, trophy wall. Pursue. I'll grab the map. Pursue. Pursue. Okay. Uh. of metal. Holy crap. You've got to be kidding me. What the hell? Oh my god. It's so tough. What? That is ridiculous. How many of my bullets did just take up? Jesus. Uh, holy hell, that's that's a killer. Come on, where are we? Where'd you go? I know I'm already on it game. Chill. Ah, uh, come on, Wilfred. I got the horse. Come on. Don't worry. Traps go this way. Come on. Yes, they do. You see that thing? It's as big as a buffalo. It's off as a bloody right. tank as well. Yeah, but we'll get him. He came through here, all right. Two full clips went into him, and he just shoved it off. Good boy. Big shit. He's been across here twice. What we do? Well, he's been up this hill to the right, and down this one in front of us. But I can't tell which tracks is fresher. Let's split up. You go up, and I'll go onwards. Okay. Good luck to you, sir. Yeah. Right. Be careful, Hamish. Alright. Ah. Oh sure. my god, it's a wolf. This is a ballsy boar, this. Oh. Oh, I'm not liking this at all. I'm not liking that Hamish has gone off on his own to look for it. Born wolves too. Oh. Okay, Hamish has found it. Let's go, boy. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Uh Hamish. Shit, he's after. Oh. Those run off. Um hmm. Jesus, no. Oh no. Hey, 
got thrown and a bastard hog got me. Now, uh, take a bill for me, would you? He's a good horse. He may be stubborn, uh, but he's strong. Kidding me. You got him, old man. It's genuinely so depressing. Well, come on, Bill. Let's go. Alright, well, if you come with me, yep. I'm gonna stable Beal. I'm probably gonna use him. Uh, actually, we need to. What, what species is, is Beal? Um, he's a Dutch warm blood. If I'm not mistaken, we need a Dutch warm blood to, to bond with. So I think we'll bring out Buell, um after next week when we're, when we're finished with. Well, for me, he's already rank 4, but. May we have three weeks that we house, don't we? So that's actually that's so. I I really liked him. I really liked Hamish. It's really it sucks. Um. All right. I'm gonna head over and uh, stable old Buell. And. Um, I think I'll probably see you guys in Saint Denis. All right, guys. Uh, I've stabled Buell, so I'll bring him out uh, in a couple of weeks. Uh, we're in Saint Denis. First thing I'm going to buy is this newspaper, which we gained after we completed uh, Bridge to Nowhere. So grab this now because uh, we didn't do previously. Thank you very much. Okay, can I can I read the paper? Alright, let's have a look. Bridge blown. Terrific explosion. Transport disabled. Munitions of war unable to reach fort. Alright, so I'll just read the headlines, but uh, pause and read if you want to read the actual stories. Dynamite stolen. Several dead. Wagon hijacked in Van Horn. Cornwall murdered. Dramatic developments in the story of the tragedy. Assassins ambush rich man in Andersburg. Mandolin gang close to capture. Infamous killers will soon be captured. Authorities say they are close. Army General praises troops, cites quick victory in Spanish-American War. Uh, weekly Roundup. Only like water, New York becomes land of opulence, private balls are bound. Swap stories, murder or myth. New railroad completed, grand project, our manifest destiny. I'm sure this one's come up a bunch of times. Uh, yeah, definitely. The Art of Angley by Jeremy Gill, Northern Pike. I think it tells about the Northern Pike, but um, he didn't actually get that, so it's uh, curious, because obviously that's what uh, Hamish took, so unless it very quickly passed over hands, which I don't think it did because that newspaper's the same as soon as you complete that mission, obviously we haven't finished the veteran by then, uh, you know, unless uh, Hamish had sent it off himself, like or like a picture of it. Um, right, we're going to head over this way. Uh, I'm going to pop into the trapper and get the rest of the items we can get pre-epilogue. Like I said, there is an, the only thing we can do for the trapper now is bring in one moose pelt, but it's part of an outfit that we can't get without another animal that's only huntable in New Austin. So we won't be able to get it to the epilogue anyway. And apparently there's like a really good spot for hunting moose there, just outside Blackwater, which by then we'll be able to do. But I'll keep an eye out for one anyway, because if we can get it done, then that's preferable, but... Um, let's hitch old Wilfred, old faithful, the beautiful Belgian dwarf. Belgian dwarf? Belgian draft. <laughs> Belgian dwarf. Actually, I think that's a throwback to my GCSEs, because I remember when we learned about uh, Vesalius, who was uh, 
anatomist from the Renaissance period. I just remembered him as uh, Vasilius the Vit, Belgian dwarf. <laughs> Never mind. That's a throwback. Okay. So we can buy it for a few things, if I'm not mistaken. So we got to our gowns. It's Bear Hunter we've done. Trophy book we've done. Dreamcatcher. Oh, no. Wait. I need a legendary Tatanka Bison, which there is in New Boston, I think. Um, legendary Cougar, Legendary Cougar, Legendary Cougar. So, yeah, again, New Austin. Uh, so that's the one that we need the Moose Pelt for, but we need the Legendary Prongon to do that. And same again there. Uh, death Rolls, we can get the Legendary Alligator Gambler, and the Hat, the Vest, and the Fowlers. And that requires the Perfect Jala Monster, which is in New Austin. Stalker, we've done. Ghost Bison, we've done. Rattler, uh, colory, coloured peccary pig, that's only in New Austin. I see when I say in New Austin, I also include the area past Blackwater, because uh, basically anywhere we can get now, these facial size grown back, that's annoying, but we can get that, and that, and then we have the Bronco Buster. Very nice. Uh, Marauder, we can do that now, we can get the Marauder. I'll show these off in more detail in future episodes, just like when we got the other outfits. Um, I'll probably dedicate an episode to each outfit. That has armadillo skin, you can guess we can get that. Uh, we can get this one now, so we got the Night Wrangler, very cool. And Mountain Man, we can do that. So we got that as well, cool. And that is the lot of the garment sets, so clothing. I uh, get the Burr Grenadier hat. Um, because of Jala Monster, can't do that. Condor, can't get that. So the hats, vests, we can get the Rugged Wrangler vest and the Hinterland vest. Chaps, get the Burfring shotgun chaps, sheep batwing chaps, muskrat half chaps. Yep, yeah, we got all those. And that requires the coloured, perfect coloured peccary pink. <laughs> get reinforced equipment, uh, sharp shooter. Got that set finished. Uh, obviously, the only show up where the stars are the ones that you got new stuff and survivalist. We finished that too. Ooh, like a right stay in saddles. I think we did. Yeah, we finished with saddles. Okay, uh, just gonna put one of the garment sets on. Dreamcatcher. No, we didn't. Um, I can't remember which was the first one that we. Up oh, death roll. I think that was it, wasn't it? No, it wasn't. Stock we'd already done. Rattler. Nope. I keep getting proven wrong here. Wrangler. There we go. Just put that on so everything's the same. And there we go. Boom. Thank you for your assistance. Oh my god, look at that. We're so poor. <laughs> ah, Jesus. Okay. Uh, let's pop into the... T uh, to the... Does it do in the morning? Don't even tell me what time it is. Um... Okay, I'll sell that. Sell that. Uh, I think that's it. Yes, okay. Um, can we buy anything? Uh, I don't think we can. With the chat though, isn't it? Um, yeah, okay. And finally, can we craft an ink? Um. No, we can't. All right, fair enough. And I was hoping we'd have a lot more money because I'd want to go to the gunsmith too. Um, and we're not really going to have much of an opportunity to make more money. So, I uh, mean, we don't. Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. I'm so sorry. I am so sorry. <laughs> Arthur is just out of control. Oh. Um, see if we can get. I don't think there's really a need for money anymore. Could be wrong in saying that. Uh, where's the gunsmith? Where's the gunsmith? Oh, it's there. We don't really have a lot of time anyway. Uh, we're coming close to time. But probably got a couple of weapons. Hey, friend. Come here a minute, trust me. You wanna hear this. Um hmm. 
Okay. Now you look like you could use some additional funds. Maybe I can help. Yeah, now it's too open here, but um follow me and we'll chat. Okay. Could be interesting. You know what? If you trust to attack me, I can always leave them. Alright, so here's what I have oh. mind. <laughs> Never mind. How do you find these damn idiots? You can just tell with some folk. Come on, let's see what he has. Well, <laughs> That's what I get for being an idiot. I was thinking I could, uh, I could play them both. Oh dear! Oh please! I, I was just saying how much I need money. Please don't tell me you've just nicked everything I've got. Oh my god, dude! Maybe he's still there. Maybe he's gonna try and. Find some other fool. I'm going to be so good if we can't get our money back. I thought it was going to be like that one in um, Doyle's Tavern when they all come up and try and ambush me. But I'll at least get the chance to, you know, fight them off. Surely you can get revenge on those fools. We were right next to the gunsmith, so they're pretty easy to. But they were, were they? Oh, he was right here, were they? Oh, for God's sake! I can't believe that. Oh dear, that's depressing. That would proper miff me off that. Hmm. Um. Right, I think actually I probably should wrap up the, that, that did take more time from the thing. Oh, that's so depressing. Okay, um, right, let's save the game. I don't think we'll have made any advancement again. Uh, so we're on 74.8% today, we are on 74.8%, there you go. Uh, yeah, they were both up, well, obviously one was a stranger and one was another optional mission, but I think we're done with optional missions now, so next time, uh, the finance conversation, that should be a main one, so we should get some story percentage from that. Um, but yeah, there you go, that is what we're going to end it for today. Very mixed emotional, like you know, felt quite good to deliver the vaccines for the for the native people. Obviously the veteran farm destroyed me mentally. It genuinely felt a big pit in my stomach when I saw Hamish. Uh, poor guy. I really liked it. I was hoping that would end nicely and it should be one little one more fun excursion, but obviously ended with tragedy. But we do have a new horse, so every cloud, I suppose. It doesn't mean means I don't have to go hunting for a new horse once we've done with Wilfred. We just take Buell straight out and that's another horse to bond with. Uh, finished with the trapper, which is quite good. Well, for now, obviously. And obviously, just all comes crashing down when someone robbed me blind. I, mean, I thought, you know, I pulled a Dutch. I thought I could rob him, but then it turns out that I got. <laughs> they got me better. But yes, uh, next time we will head back to camp. Uh, we'll probably put on a new one of those outfits that we just unlocked. And we'll do the fine out of conversation. And hopefully, we'll have enough time after that. Uh, we'll definitely be heading into Saint Denis and dealing with Colm while making sure that he's dealt with specifically. So that should be fun, I'm really looking forward to that. Before we wrap up, let me take a second to thank my amazing patrons. My £5 patrons are Ever the Snake and Ron Hyler. You can find links to their channels as well as my other £3 patrons in the description down below. And on screen your secrets my £1 patrons. Thank you so much everyone, it is truly appreciated and it goes a long way to have the channel, so I do thank you a lot for that. And if you wish to become a patron, you can follow the link in the description down below. But you don't have to do that because at the end of the day, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode and if you did, be sure to like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.